Morning chaps, um, down here at the pig blind. I said you guys must watch this space. We've been brewing some, or started our brew for our bush pigs. Some straight runs, some millies, some molasses, couple bags of yeast. So that's all been mixed in, yeah? So let me just take you for a walk around, just to show you. Last night we were busy with the blind. You guys probably saw a couple of pictures. It was an old blind, you can see set up there. Floor's rotten away, steps are rotten, so we did a quick fix on the bottom. We've got two shooting, two shooting lanes. You know, so you can double up on pigs. You know, if you guys are crack shots, good enough to shoot with a bow and with a, with a rifle. Back here, I've got my solar light set up with my camera, just to show us when the pigs are coming in. And then there's our there's our bait. We've got it all set up. Shooting distance is roughly 12 yards, so very close. We're gonna have to sit nice and quiet here. But yeah, hopefully in the next few days my bait's gonna be nice and sour. Obviously all that yeast, nice brew, get the smells going nicely. Here. We've had a bit of interest with the, this being an old baiting site and a couple of pigs coming in, uh, but nothing settled and, and, and eating yet. But as soon as I've got some decent pictures, we'll post them online. Keep watching, chaps. Cheers. Morning, guys. We down at the Bush Peak Blind after an unsuccessful sit last night for four hours. I've just come down to come and check on, you know, what's happening here. Clearly, our pigs didn't our pigs didn't come in last night because. As you'll see, if I can show you guys, the bait wasn't touched. They always oh, a gamble coming to sit last night anyway because they're not they're not on a eating schedule as as you would because they only hit the bait two nights in a row. So hopefully tonight they come back. We'll keep refreshing the bait and um, hopefully we can get them on a on an eating cycle so we can come and sit and, and whack a pig or two. But yeah, it's how hunting goes, eh, guys. It's it's never easy, and you you just keep at it. Um, good thing that we did find when we came and sat at our our blind last night. We need to work on our lighting setup, so we will be working on that. But a lot of guys use different things. Guys use red lights. Um, I've always used a solar panel floodlight. Put it in. Let the pigs settle. The pigs get used to eating on the eating with the light. The baiting area that we've got here is quite bushy so you're feeding right on the bush line so our, our light shines nicely on our baiting site so we'll only pick the pigs up what we noticed last night if they come right to the bait we can't see too far on the edge you know if you if you want to you know bait properly and and have a higher success rate you need to see stuff coming in so you need to get some some decent lighting system so we'll upgrade our lighting system and then hopefully have better result how's it chaps just came down to check on the bush peak bait as you see see uh, they've cleaned us out when we got back from adelaide yesterday we came down to come and see what was happening and it seems like the pigs had, had vanished they hadn't been hitting the bait for all week since we got those last photos but we just kept refreshing keep refreshing the bait i grabbed the trail camera footage and looked and there was evidence of a pig here when we when we came and looked yesterday but it wasn't a bush pig it was a warthog that had found the bait and had been coming in to eat on the mealies and murphy's law the cards were with me i didn't come back because we got back quite late yesterday didn't put them in first thing come this morning check on the bait and it's been whacked and it's bush pigs let's take a walk over here i can show you they obviously hit it early hours this morning if you see down here they obviously spent a bit of the bit of time here some fresh fresh droppings again looks like it's a big pig and some smaller pigs again so hopefully it's that big boar um, and his buddy that have come back with the sows and the and the little ones we'll probably come and take a sit down here and hopefully get a pig on the ground but we'll just keep watching the weather it looks like it's going to get rained on and obviously don't have a roof roof over that thing last time they 
they hit us early hours of the Friday morning and they came back Saturday, Saturday early and spent the whole of Saturday night eating. And then when we decided to sit on Sunday, they didn't come back. So I'm hoping they stick with that same pattern as they hit early hours of this morning. You can see the droppings of fresh, fresh, fresh. And I'm hope they hit early this evening again. So my brother and I will probably come and test our patience and come sit here. And as I say to a lot of people, it's like watching paint dry and you have to sit really quietly and, and don't move. But fingers crossed, we, we get lucky and, and the balls come out and we can get some ball on the ground and, and some ball in the freezer. We decided to brave the weather. Little Ryan has got his gear. We walking to the big blind now. It's starting to rain, 10 to 5, so we hopefully will have posted something by 8 o'clock the latest. If not, we'll head home 8 o'clock. I don't feel like getting too wet today. So, fingers crossed, they are doing the same pattern as they did to us uh, about a week ago. So, chaps, we had a very intense push pig sitting this evening. Um, I must admit it's been one of the most intense sittings I've had before. My brother, a big nearly bit me on my ass. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who don't know, our bush big blind has only got a front on it. So we're sitting with our backs to the bushes. But at quarter to six, we heard the, a pig coming in and a young sow came in and she obviously it was still quite light. So she, I don't think she smelt us, but she got a fright and, and ducked off. And then eventually at quarter past six, when it was nice and dark, we had a monster of a pig behind us. It came up behind us, it sniffed, it grunted, it slapped its jaws, and he circled us. I'm guessing it was a big boar because it circled us and circled the blind from quarter past six right until say half past seven and just didn't come in so these pigs that are eating now um, I don't think are my original pigs because the fact that they approached the blind from a completely different angle they came from behind us so it might be another another group of pigs so what we decided was the fact that they're not settled they're obviously not used to the light yet we decided to sneak out, which we did nice and quietly, no bushes broke or anything like that. We snuck out, so I will keep baiting them and keep checking the, the cameras because I think we'll have a good setting by Friday, Saturday, if these are definitely a new set of pigs. So we'll check cameras tomorrow morning to see what pigs exactly they were. Um, as I know, on the first group of pigs that came in, there were seven pigs in total so it was a piglet a couple of sows and two big boars this didn't sound like as many pigs to me it sounded like two or three three pigs we obviously saw the one and after that we had pigs crashing and making noises next to it very 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 interesting and a very very intense night at the blind i need to put it back on the blind maybe find some old shade cloth and, and close up the back because i don't feel like a bush pig coming to park off next to me next time we're in the blind morning guys uh, back at the bush pig blind we kind of figured out why our pigs were not hitting the blind frequently enough over and over and over again on the same property that that we we baiting on just in one of the valleys over there's a guy who's got a bunch of goats here and he's had a bunch of them die the pigs have been feeding on the goats and not coming in to hit the blind so what we did yesterday was we went and grabbed a couple of these dead goats and we tossed them on the blind. And this is the result. As you see, we had about one, two, three, four, five goats that we piled up on the bait site. And the pigs have hit it and they have dragged the goats, goats everywhere. So now we've got a good smell here. I'm gonna drag all the goats back onto the, onto the pile again. It's a bit of a smelly job but just to keep all the bait in, in, in one area. And then hopefully the pigs come back again tonight. I'm gonna be doing some upgrades on the blind. I've got another two lights I wanna set up because it's very dark down here, just to light up the bush a little bit so we can see them sneaking around. 
And yeah, fingers crossed. I want to come sit on Friday and hopefully the pigs have settled and they're eating on these carcasses. And hopefully they come in tomorrow. And I heard attempt for the bush pig blind. Ryan came down and did some good work on the blind today. Closed up with the pigs down walking behind us. He managed to do two like shooting benches so we don't have to touch our rifles. And they can be lying set up. And we've got the three lights up, so it's gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna be lucky tonight. Hopefully we'll post some nice pictures later. We'll probably sit a lot longer this evening than we have been sitting because the pigs have been eating routinely at 10 to 9. A couple of war dogs coming in at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and eating the, the bait before the pigs get there. So I baited a little, little bit later today. Hopefully we will get a good chance at a pig this evening. Right chaps, this is what a, an end result looks like. After lots of patience and hard work and setting up the plan, I was lucky. I got the big pig. This is my biggest one to, to date. And Ryan got this young boar on this side. We're only shooting boars here. We're not going to be shooting any, any sows soon. So this big guy is the guy that comes in with the seven pigs. This boar is the boar that nearly walked into the blind with us. He comes from an opposite direction. He's not part of this group. There's still two other boars in the group that we've shot. So we got into the blind at about half past five, quarter to six. This big guy came in wow, half past six and then he snuck back out again, got our adrenaline going. And then he came in at quarter to seven and I was lucky enough to get a shot at him. All the pigs were in, they rushed off. And then we sat for 40 minutes and then this ball came in from the opposite direction. We could hear him behind the blind the whole time and he walked around and Ryan got a shot. So two really nice pigs, what we call the poor man's leopard in South Africa. The same feeling, one of the hunts, one of the most intense hunts and enjoyable hunts. It's the adrenaline and the heart going. Doesn't matter how many of these bad boys you've hunted, it gets you going. But till next time guys, we've got some work to do on these guys. Cheers.